So car sales is an online marketplace and our role in life is to help connect buyers and sellers of cars. Um, so whether that be a, a private buyer to a dealer car or a, a private buyer to a, a private seller car, our job in life is to connect those people up. And we have uh, about 210,000 cars on car sales uh, waiting to be sold today. So we make money from a number of different sources outside of just buying and selling cars. So we have um, businesses support that marketplace. So we have a, a vehicle inspection business that will inspect cars to make sure that they are as they've been described and give consumers confidence or dealers confidence in buying and selling those cars. We have a business called Redbook and Redbook um, maintains vehicle specifications and valuations which are provided to the likes of insurance companies so they can work out residual values on cars and so on. Um, we have a tyre business called Tyre Sales, which is a, uh, a, uh, an online marketplace for consumers to buy tyres. We have a finance company called Stratton Finance. Um, we have other data uh, parts of our business as well that support the marketplace that we're in. Um, so it's quite a diverse um, range of uh, products and services, even outside of it, just the core buying and selling of cars. My background, I've, I've actually been at car sales now for 12 years. Uh, when I started at car sales, we were operating out of a little shop front in Oakley, uh, in a suburb in Melbourne, there was about 60 of us. And I started at car sales as the chief financial officer. Um, and I was a CFO for seven years. And then in 2014, I moved into the, the role of chief operating officer. And today I'm the chief executive officer. So uh, when I started, there was about 60 of us and now there's about 1200 of us and we're in a number of different countries. So seen a, a lot change and a lot grow. But, um, but personally, I've been in the advertising industry since about 2002. The last vehicle I traded on car sales, uh, an Audi Q7, um, which I, I traded. I, I love Audis, I love all cars, as you can imagine. But uh, my, uh, my wife needed a new car, and so we, we decided to trade that Audi Q7. And we, as you'd expect, we got a good result and in a really quick time, time period. So very happy with car sales and how it worked for me. In terms of long-term shareholder value creation, our, our focus is on a number of different things. It's on continuing to build our market position and domestically, looking for opportunities to expand and grow organically, um, whether that be through new product execution or yield growth. Um, secondly, we're, we're focused on building out adjacency opportunities. So opportunities that we have to deepen or extend our core business for instance, uh, the inspection business I mentioned or the data businesses and so on. What we're trying to do is then take our core business, take those adjacent market businesses that we've created and push them into high growth international global markets. So markets where we can leverage our capability and technology uh, and grow something quite special in offshore markets and effectively replicate car sales, but on hopefully a bigger scale. The one area that we actually stay focused on, and we stay focused on it because the risk is the risk of disruption. Technology is changing constantly. The market is changing constantly. And as an organisation, we have to be paranoid and stay on top of those changes and ensure that we're in a strong position so that when those changes come, we're able to meet the market.